That's another thing we ain't bringing in 2022 this year. What? Huh? Recording people, recording dead people. No, you, you ain't bringing it. Them niggas who's do, do it? Yeah, they need to cut that shit out. Cut that fucking shit out this year, everyone. Who's do that fuck? Or people who in, who in die need the help. That's for 2022? Yeah, don't bring that shit into 2022. 2022 laws. Number one, stop recording dead people. Oh, Please. Dying people. And, send, dying people. and sending it around. Let's, let's emphasize on that, though. Stop taking out your phone and recording any situation that you could actually be helping out with if you weren't recording. Exactly. You know. People yeah. really don't help nothing, like. Hmm. <clears throat> they ain't gonna listen to that one, though. They heard their head. Yeah. But I've got a lady who's been happy 2022. This is what you're gonna say, Phoebe. Again, that's Phoebe. Two shows back to back. No, no, this is the first show we had. Well, I'm going to have a lot of shows back to back. <laughs> New banks and in infinite. Mmm, rivers. We're making some money. I mean, if I can spend this while I'm making it, that's some shit. That's real talk. I actually make a, a, a share today of what I saw in the shade room. Oh, Justin LaVoy, sorry. These bills been coming more than me. Hey, everything been coming more than yeah, me. Yeah, dog. That is it. You've been on that branch and you've been holding your cup. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's this goal? What is it, what's the goal, boy? What's it goal? Um, oh, sexual retention. Is that? Yeah. Ejaculation? Retention? Yeah. yeah. You can be on that shit. Don't worry about that. Wait, man. I, I was lost for a second. Listen to me. I, I, read something, I read something that say. If you ejaculate a lot, it helps prevent um, cancer. prostate cancer. Prostate cancer. Yeah. yeah, I heard that one. And y'all niggas don't want to jack off. Oh, fuck. This nigga. <laughs> this nigga. Uh, <laughs> Happy guess, New Year's. I guess I catch him prostate cancer because I'm trying to fuck him all the way down and jack off, brother. Welcome to no, two I say, foot. I mean, coming on the wall. Uh, but he talked, but he, after you said that, he says, so us niggas decide to jack off. No, I don't jack off. Today's in. You know, he's beating me. Yeah. So what? This nigga around here talking about him. Yeah, we were going. Hmm. Camera? Yes, boy. How much times do you want me to tell you that? The same. <laughs> we know he's beating though. This is the same nigga who was on the last episode. What mm. are you talking about? A1 dick. Eating ass. Eating ass. I think he's trying to say A1 sex. He's too wild shit. I know he's too wild shit. I think he's trying to say A1 sex. Baby, what's... My boy's trying to master sex. Hey. Hey, he on a different level over there, though. Another thing I bring in the 2022. You're on a real different level. Like, it's not giving a fuck what y'all have to say. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I give a fuck. And that's on everything. <laughs> Welcome to episode 22 of the Two for Two podcast. I'm your host, Rivers, here today with some of my good friends and hosts. Banks here, Wizzle here. We got Infinite here. Huh? We got my boy Keely in the building. Yeah, Shout Keely over there in the Keely. corner on his phone. We let that girl cheat in peace, yo. Shoes 242. Oh, I, I said, no, repeat it for me, brother. Yeah, shoes for seasons. That's what it is. Put it on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. What, what did you sell shoes? Oh, I know that. Solid. Solid. Yeah, yeah. we tell production so, start to tell us where to go. Tap on Brody, though. Keep bringing them fresh kicks for you. But um, yeah, how y'all doing, guys? How y'all mental health? How y'all doing? How's the holiday? How's Christmas? How's y'all New Year's? What y'all New Year's resolution is? I'm here for it all. Give it to me. What's going on? You see, y'all, we ain't been here for like a month. Um, Don't come month? in here and say, I'm straight. Yeah, <laughs> I good. Um, I good. Like I said, I'm doing all this. I've been on that money dip. I'm trying to get this money. You know, everybody want to get for the holiday season. Everybody will be happy. Everybody will go there with their body. So I've been trying to get the money. As soon as I get the money, I can spend the money. Um, so yeah, resolution. Make more money. Make more money. Stay out of the way. Mm-hmm. Stay low. It's powerful. Stay out of the way. It's real yeah, powerful. What you been doing, I had a pretty boring holiday, to be honest with you. You've been, you've been gone a whole month. Don't come with no fucking shit, no, dog. No, no. They say it. You say what they say. I had, I, I went out one day. I think it was a Christmas day. That's when I. Let me tell you, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> Let's see. Let Let's me tell go. you a little story. See, um, for months and months now on this podcast, we've been trying to get each other to go out and have a good time. You know, just have 
just spend some time together, you know, as a board, you know, try to get some cohesiveness, some chemistry. So Christmas night, I out, and it so happens, right, that I don't go in prime time. I don't go in there at all because I have I have some bad stigmas attached to prime time. Yeah, one of my boys get killed there, and then the only time I went to go in there, I get locked up, or arrested. But so yeah, I was to this Christmas party, decided to slide on over to prime time. That was the only thing that was really popping to be honest with you. Without adults, I pull up in the building. Look to my left. <laughs> See this nigga, this colorful jacket. I see this nigga fly. Hey, who, who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and I look over, Nalo Banks. I say, what? <laughs> this what you me? This why I can't hear from you? Tell me why is it you could never say to me, hey, let's ride somewhere, dog. Like, what, you embarrassing me or something? You embarrassing me around me? Huh? That's clearly what it is. Uh, all right, moving forward for 2022, whenever I decide to hit certain spots, I hit you. Yeah, yeah, I, you know yeah. What? I, can it, I can send it in the group. That's what we doing. Like, yeah, that's what we doing. 2022, we partying together. That's what we doing. Yeah. Yeah. As a part, as a family. But that was the only thing oh, I really yeah. did for the Christmas. I ain't do nothing. I ain't going to New Year's, chill on, watch some movies. I catch up on a lot of shows, though. What shows are you binge watching? Fuck. Wait, a yellow jacket? Y'all need to get on that. Yellow Jacket, Mayor of Kingstown. Some good shit right there. You know, I was watching the show he's watching. It's a lot to judge. Yeah. Yeah. I think they bring out a, I think they bring out the next season for that. Um, this year, April. What would you, Wizzo? You know what I mean? <laughs> Newborn on the way, you know? I mean, that year. Sorry about that. Newborn here. Yeah. I, I, I mean, Christmas was family-oriented. I had no major outings or run-ins or nothing. I was out of the country. You're spending time with the family. Spending family. money. A lot of fucking money. And that's a part of Christmas. Even down to today. I just want to say, the biggest scam to me in the Bahamas is Bahamas Customs. I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh we could get on now. That's my opinion, okay? The biggest scam in the Bahamas. You got to buy things twice. To get it in the country. To get it to your own country. Yeah. Like, it's fucked up. Yeah, but that's, that's, they, we got to do something, but for the, for the longest, we had no conversation about customs and what they do to us over here, but we need to have a conversation with them. We need, we should have that conversation during the election time. Like, Talking to the mic, buddy. Honestly, just how I mean, you spoke about it earlier today, man, I totally agree with you. Nothing in this country needs to have a duty rate accessing 25%. Exactly. There's no way I should be spending half of what I purchased the item for to clear it and bring it into customs. That's, that's ridiculous. You gotta pay more sometimes. It's, it's Doug, hard. Doug, you're literally buying the same thing twice, bro. And, and like I was telling you earlier, too, when we was on our way here. Let me, sh- let me break it down here. You buy a car, right? A car is 65%. So when you do your math, you only really focusing on the 65%, but in reality, there's so much additional processing fee, lining the fee, whatever the freight costs are and all that. By the time you add all that up, you didn't buy that old car again. Oh, I like, bro, I feel like day, that's a part of the scam of bro, it because they like- They need to ask us, bro. Wait, you could go, luckily I have a residency in the US too, right? I could go inside Bahama, inside any hotel and buy jewelry, show my U.S. address, my U.S. ID, and tax-free, bro. Yeah, but yet behemoths go in any store and get taxed the fuck out, bro. It's ridiculous, like I say. need to be getting taxed ain't getting... We can't go in the U.S., bro, and say, all right, we ain't from here. They ain't charging us no tax. We pay jobs, every bro. fucking dollar, every penny, bro, that is needed to cover the cost of that one item. I think, I, yeah, I think that's a part of the scam, like yeah. I was saying, because at the end of the day, right, it ain't like, it ain't like they forcing you to buy in the country because half of the items would be go and buy or we go abroad to, to get. They don't have here. 
like things with people may go to foreign and bring back. They things we don't produce here. Even the things he produce here, we get I talked could, to her, bro. Nah, that's what I'm saying. I could see the things. I could see the things. Um, or it being where whereas they're charging you a duty on these things because they want they would they want to encourage you to purchase. to purchase in the country. But these things they don't even produce. Yeah, you don't even have that option. Exactly. Even down the even down the majority of the clothes, how much people over here are why like how much what's the percentage of people who just make clothes here? My point exactly, no, Bradley. It shows you, bro, and especially in a time like Christmas, bro, when everyone trying to buy their little gifts from Black Friday and shit to make it home and done. You had to work extra hard just to clear that little PS5 because days go based on the size of the box or the or the weight dimension or something like that, right? Something like, that. like yeah, whatever's the most, whatever's the biggest is the one they go in with, bro. You see, what I'm and they're killing you, dog. And even some of these shipping companies, bro, what they do. Is they put everybody items in one, even if you buy one little cell phone case, right? If, you know this usually come in a little Ziploc bag, whatever it is. Yeah, because they trying to um, drop ship all the items one time or one flight, they can open up somebody else's box, throw your vibe in that box, and then all y'all gotta split the freight of that box, bro. That's what they doing, bro. And you literally beam twice on you. Bro, one time they put my item in a bigger box. That's what they say, hey, bro. <laughs> Killing, bro. A lot of people hurt over this holiday season because of shit like customs, bro. That's all I gotta say. But yeah. I mean, we all know the whole system designed for us to pay. Like, how you all you feel? You are making it. How you all feel about moving into the digital space? Like, I don't know if you see it yet. Me and you was having a conversation the other day when you was like, you still is carry around money, and I was like, but oh yeah. In, in the next, yeah, yeah, in the next couple of months or years, we ain't really need cash. They pushing everything into the, the digital space. <laughs> They got the metaverse. So I see now why they bring, like, why all these things come to the forefront. They tie in all these shit together. Yeah. Now you basically ain't got to come off the internet to spend your money at all. You got crypto. You got all these other um, currencies and, and, and um, I guess, meta dollar. Now you got the metaverse where people could be, you could actually live a life in the metaverse. You know what I mean? So now you, can, you people can use their crypto dollar to actually um, spend money or use their currency online. It's like they basically pushing the dollar bill out of your hand. They can eventually, um, well, I don't know what can happen to our economy because we still have stores over here but don't even accept credit card. Well, that's why you're saying, like, talk, when, we, when we talk about it, I saying I agree with you, we, we get in there, but if you talk about the Bahamas, yeah, we be 10 steps behind the foreign, maybe 20, bro. So but, in foreign and also doing that, we be over accepting gas for another freaking 10 to 15 years probably. With, with currency, we don't have that liability. I mean, we don't have that leisure with, with, with currency. Yeah. We have the follow suit and fast too. See, we ain't gonna be fast. Because we'll be out of the loop. We ain't gonna be fast. If you go cash this, how you to make it rain in the strip club? That's a good question. You're gonna be swiping at that point. Cash up. But think about this too. <laughs> so, That's what you. So when you enter in the clubs, what well, they got? They got the machinery there. Well, you just touch the car to get in it. Cash up. You probably and, and probably majority of the clubs, like let's just say, let me speak in futuristically. A lot of the clubs, you probably love the um, RSVP to get in, and just pulling up on the door no more. But it's the Bahamas. Oh, you trying to tip the girl? No, I she may have. Hey. Get a cash up. <laughs> at least now you could, at least now you could, you could regulate how much money you spend not, in a strip club. Yeah, not even, not even fun no more, bro. Don't think, forget you and you. I think, you and I think a, a, a easy way to do it may just to use QR code technology. Like while she dancing, there's a That's QR code easy. showing somewhere that you just scan and you just send tips to her account or something. That's how I see it. Yeah, I'm fun. Literally, it is fun. fun. But then again, you can't touch that, anyway. You can't touch anyway because of COVID. They're killing, they're killing the, the strip club vibes, bro. Yeah. That's why I ain't really don't like clubs right but now. But the reason why I still carry cash around, I think it's still important, you know, living in the Bahamas. Like I said, the other day I was with some friends. It's like, eat us. He's about to go inside prime night. Nobody get cash. Everybody get their card. Mm. That's like, uh, like I, I, I have both. I always have my card on me in my wallet. 
but I feel the cash is just important. They also knocking right on the table, let us go to the mic. I think, I think it's still important to stay in that. Now, when we, as we move forward, and it phases out, I go with the punches. Mm. But until then, I can tell you the thing on me, bro. I don't carry cash at all. Clay, we will so we got to talk about the day, guys. We clearly we winging it. We ain't got shit to talk about. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about us. Us, my Drake was putting our sauce in his condo. Allegedly, allegedly, uh, allegedly. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's a new trick, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's a new and trick. I wonder, hey, I Drake, wonder, Google that. Drake, Drake. Listen to me. Drake changed the game in a lot of ways. You know, even when it comes down to dealing with a lot of women. Like, if you listen to this shit and what things would he's be saying, you know what I mean? I would have never think to put hot sauce yeah. in the condom after I come. How about you saying? Right now, an OG teaching that trick. Oh, you must see. I don't know. Did we Google that like, shit? Like, where did that come from? <laughs> that, that couldn't have been a Drake guy But see, for me, I would have, like, like, like me and Rizzo were saying earlier, I would have fucking tied my shits and flushed my shit. So you ain't even get the chance to get that shit. But Drake Radio, is them. Drake Radio is them people. The for me, then I get that's what I'm saying. Like me. Drake is a law-abiding citizen. I, I I don't see him flushing a condom down. That's what the hell I got to do with being a law-abiding citizen. That's too deceitful. You want this guy to take your shit? Because yeah. the hotel could tell you tell you don't flush uh, condoms down the, the toilet bowl. When they can tell you that? When they, they, they you been that? saying that, bro? Oh, well, Who does this tell you that? But during checking, he's, he's gonna listen. That's Drake. He ain't gonna spend that fifty dollars extra or whatever. You don't want you don't want us to pause and get take. <laughs> That's Drake we talking about you though. Drake. Like wrap that shit up with this shoe. Like flush they could go and get some tobacco hot sauce and fucking pour it down. I call, hey, Drake is the man, but he's the man. The hey guy's sad. She's sad as fuck for that shit though. But, you can imagine doing that shit, bro. I mean, like, I understand. I uh, know a thought process. But really? That you, let's be honest. You think that's his first encounter with something like that? No. Uh, exactly. Probably why he don't do the hot sauce. Exactly. Drake, then, I mean, like, he probably encountered that millions of times, to be honest with you. Most, so, most celebrities, the niggas who like. Really yeah. Crazy. But yeah, I'd fuck with that. that that's, so, that's a good idea. I, have, I, have I a mean, 2020, dude. Let's say you fuck the bitch. You ain't flush your gun and just, you know, take it off, put it in the garbage. Leave a place or whatever the case would be. And she does that shit to you. A couple of months later, you get to go and she pregnant. <laughs> like, how would you feel, nigga? You, Rivers. I would have to deal with that. You would be hurt, though. Like, hot as shit, sex. Yeah, I would be, of course, but mm-hmm. that's, that's something you still gotta deal with. I, well, I think now there's, there's, um, there's clinics where you could go and you could, you could get a. DNA test before the baby's even born. I don't think that's safe though. I didn't think it's up to stick. Yeah, stick and stick the baby. That's a costly test, bro. And that could cost the baby die too, yeah. possibly. So what do you, say, you, do, you, do, you really think they would be doing it if it wasn't safe? It ain't safe, bro. They do a lot of things, but it ain't safe. Yeah, but, okay. And you, you talking, that ain't safe. That ain't safe. You talking to nigga? Who, and, I mean, again, risk yeah, so the risk is higher with that. Exactly. There's, I, a, I there's would, a risk with everything. I wouldn't fuck with it. I would just wait a couple of months and pay my little couple of dollars to go to the freaking wow. DNA lab and get that you shit. You could even wait until the baby born, like with the DNA it. test during, during the delivery process. Stop like saying right there and then. Get that Until shit over. The baby born. Swap that, that shit. And get nigga, you know, on. nigga, you know where I got a fucking bed? I got a bed of Hawaii somewhere. I, I ran, you know, in a delivery room for a baby with eight marks. You want to make sure? <laughs> <laughs> you make sure. You know what I mean? Give me that early test. Early detection is better. And that's what they say. <laughs> hey, I I encourage any man in 2022, if you ain't sure the baby's yours, you get that DNA test. Bro. Beating in the desk. Hey, Kelso Lab on almost every intersection now in every constituency. And the, hey, the test, <laughs> test is only, uh, I think it's what, 315? Where that money get the test, bro? Hey, hey. watch this. Some niggas be like, but what if the baby ain't mine? And they spend that 315. Then you know for sure. Keep the 315, bro. Oh, you can't do that. Like, I rather clarity. Clarity. <laughs> I mean, if you, that's if you ain't sure now. I think I think something like that. If if It all depends on who the girl is in the situation. And, and how y'all, as well as y'all how well y'all communicate about the situation. Like, if a two of y'all unsure, you know, you'd be like, all right, we can do it. You know, but you probably get split this fucking thing. I ain't no big bill with She ain't no big bill, but uh-huh. listen to you, bro. It's still a 50-50 chance that a skinny in your ass, and she know that. 
Yeah, but I need that piece of mind so, for me. I don't give a shit about that. Guess what? Yeah, she know that she's gonna get the next half of that fucking bill from the next dude who she yeah, think it is. Boy. You say he said? Oh, and well, he gotta pay you out for you. But he he that's not. That's their life at that point. <laughs> 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 we talking about me and her situation right now. Yeah. All right. All right. Or if you are really cool, you say that. Well, yeah, I'll pay for it. And you want to absorb everything, right? Because you you want to preserve that that friendship or our future sexual relationship, right? Uh, third. Y'all really don't fuck with each other. You be like, all right, I need to know this child is mine. You saying this mine? I need to know it's really mine. But I want me and you agree. All right, but grass is it. If this is mine, yeah. it's straight. I can do what I gotta do. But if it ain't mine, you can pay me every dollar back for this test. All right, put me through this shit. Now nah, you just say like for future sex relations. If it ain't yours, you can try and fuck on her again. Then seeing that she really put you in a situation where it's kind of iffy. It all depends how she chose it. Right. Not, not to grab it, not the situation. Yeah, I know. How she did it, right? How she did it. Yeah, it depends. She come to me and say, well, you know me, you had something going on, and I, 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 I pregnant, but I know if it's yours or not, then. That was, she'd be in 100. She'd yeah, be she'd be in 100. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, I can respect that. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know? But if you come fucking trolling us, I mean, like, this your fucking baby? Yeah, yeah. Like, all these Vietnam Warriors, Jerry Springer. Yeah. 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 You say, you say it? And freaking, you know, you smash me to go do this test, and they come with that, it ain't mine, you're gonna put me through all this stress, bitch, you better pay me every fucking penny, bro. Get that test, niggas. Y'all ain't sure? Spend yeah, three fifteen now, test, or spend eighteen years of some something in yours. Should be eighteen plus. You get would your test. You would take the baby and um, go take the test without all uh, knowledge. You do that. Never need to do that. You don't I think so, or you? you, know, you know. <laughs> and we all us we might be ill advised on the podcast like I ain't sure That's about it. You, you, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it, right? I didn't you know you could do it. You can do it, but you can't use the results in a court model. Because mm. so you, you take it. it without a knowledge. Yes, because she's not aware. Yeah, you can't use it. You can't use that in the court or anything like that. For any legal so model. At that point, you have to get a court appointed DNA test. Right. So oh. you can use you you can do that and say, okay, yeah, I did it for my my benefit, yeah. and now if you do go to court. And usually, 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 uh, usually, yeah. usually uh, child custody and child support cases, they mandate a... Uh, but see, the thing about it is, they don't mandate it. They ask you a particular question. They ask you, you're yeah, so-and-so, your child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you and forfeit. Yes, uh, you you know what I'm saying? You sign the birth certificate. Not, no, not, not, not really. That, no, not really. We talking about court. Like I'm saying, yeah. right, in court, they ask you, is Rizzo your son? Yeah. Now, that's you saying... I'm sure he's my son, so I don't want to take a test. Exactly. That's how they don't know. They don't ask you, would you like to take a DNA test to prove it's your child? They don't do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But shouldn't I feel that they should come right out? Because if you don't know how they word things, they can fool you. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think the DNA test should be mandated regardless. Of the I agree. Situation. Even if you think things is yours, mm-hmm. because we come to the magistrate court or Supreme Court, whatever level you are. I think that courthouse should mandate that each party, well, the father takes a DNA test with the with the child yeah. to make sure that it is his, so we give the right proceeding and the right justice to the right party. Even if they married or not. Exactly. But yeah, you could take the child and do it. And if it was me, and I ain't sure, I can do it for my peace of mind, my my surety. A lot I of would. niggas get a lot of niggas get babies for Christmas now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh Somebody yeah, probably a lot of people get engaged for Christmas too. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm like, that's the season. Engaged on Wednesday, actually. Yeah. It is Wednesday. Sorry. That was yesterday. Tuesday. It's the season, bro. A lot, of, a lot of girls pop up. A lot of women pop up the woodworks, too, with their significant other. They've been playing single on Instagram the whole year. <laughs> it was that's that's another the thing y'all got to stop doing on Instagram, too, now. We ain't bringing that in 2022. It, another thing people are doing, too, when I realize is, you know, people try to like, keep their relationship private and off social media and what's not. But they'll post the fuck out of the kid y'all created together. No, don't. Y'all ain't gonna post each other. No, don't post me yet, with no fucking emoji it. over my head, neither. No, that's even worse. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. We, you got have some shit to answer to. <laughs> yeah, don't do right. that to me. <laughs> what? Well, you can post me for your hundred minutes. Don't be post me at all. Yeah, hey, don't post me at all don't if you gotta do that. Done. I agree. Say, say, Posting me no damn done. emoji over my face. What the fuck I look like? <laughs> another thing, another rule, and this one for the ladies when it comes to 2022. I think we need to clarify us men what trying to talk to you is and what just <laughs> healing you or being cordial to you is on social media. <laughs> <laughs> you react, she, 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 she,
so so beautiful picture or whatever it may be. So you reacted hot. just show a little flame or whatever. Right? You wouldn't react to the post, but yeah, she can go to press. Oh, he's being my DM trying to talk to me. Mm. No, bitch, he reacted to a, 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 photo, a photo that you posted. Rizzo, that's a losing he battle. He shoot his shot. That's a losing battle. That's a losing battle. Well, that ain't got, going I on. Gotta say, yes. I gotta say, I gotta say. It won't yeah, stop. Man, I gotta say. Red behemoth, man. man. That shit ain't stopping, bro. Hey, that's over exaggeration. Hey. Hey. You, we, I remember, I remember speaking about this, or even thinking about this, but but seven years ago, mm-hmm. when you when you used to open up the door for women and probably say, hey, uh, uh, how you doing, or whatever the case may be, they take that as you trying to come on to them. Yeah. That's our culture over here. Yeah, like, they, they used for a while. Like, like, like me, and, me and you just was talking about it today. Like you will be doing business, like strictly just business, and they feel as though because you ain't introduce yourself in the business sense like hey i'm a part of this exactly. organization yep you know what i mean and then they ain't seeing you exactly. in that sense they seeing you as somebody at the bar trying to come on to them exactly. you know what i mean it's so weird to me like how exactly. women is think today, in the bro. in this country today yeah, they say, they okay. say women sorry yeah, yeah. Yeah. Women, like you say that's something like a simple high it's just what shivery open the door Pulling on a chair, any other thing like that. Oh, he tried. Oh, he tried out to me. Oh, he tried out to me. What he said to you? What your proof is this? And and like, disclaimer, right? This is this this doesn't go to every woman. Like we ain't talking to every woman in the Bahamas. But it's the culture. It's the mindset of a lot of women. Majority of the women think that way. And that's something I gotta stop. Like not every man trying to come on to you. If they even if they compliment you, I don't think that's someone trying to talk to you. It's a compliment. It's, you I look it's nice. With, I think it's with the younger women too. Like when you reach a certain age, for women, women being on being on the road so long, they know okay, they get to differentiate between casual conversation and this nigga actually trying to hit under me. Right. So I think like women thirty five plus maybe, not all the majority. Listen, I got the board this year. I all in shit back. Some of them, some of them could be a little young, but what I realized is the one two in them all caught up on image. Like yeah, image and likes and shit or social media, they're the ones who are a lot more open to having just a casual conversation without feeling any type of way or putting you in a, in a particular box. So you, you feel as if women who um, use social media to validate a lot of things for them, you think they're really shallow and... I wouldn't say that. I, just I wouldn't say... I just think that their view on men and... Because watch this. this we're talking about a female that might have posted a bikini picture, you know, or few times and all she gets slides and a bunch of random dudes sending dick pics and shit like that. So she used she used to do it's coming out of a certain way. Right. Right? So automatically a random dude like us who might have just, you know, um, reacted to a photo and just say, Oh hey, how you doing? You know, we ain't trying to come on to we just having a conversation with you. But yeah, we were attracted to your photo, which led to us coming and actually talking to you or trying to start a conversation with you. But that don't necessarily mean that we hit yeah, yeah. You see and, what and men don't even think the way, but because, for example, like I post, you know, I post clips of uh, uh, podcasts on my Facebook story a lot of time, and a lot of females are coming, laughing, and you know, saying y'all be killing me. And I never, for once, think she come on under me. I'll just probably, I'll send the link, watch the full episode, but I will I'm like, but men don't even think that way as women do. But like, I don't get it, bro. Now, Mike, like if I, if I was in a relationship and this girl hails me all the time, I would never tell my girl. But she, Right, let's, be cl- let's be clear now. We got a lot of niggas who doing that shit too. A lot of niggas moving like bitches out there too now. Wow. We ain't only throw it on the women. I saw um, a story from Mango. One of my boys posted on this Who's story. Who's Mango? Mango season. <laughs> he's still up. He's still. No, no. I say I, I don't. I don't have Mango. Oh, okay. My boy okay, probably okay. has it or whatever. But he posts. I don't know. I never even asked him. Yeah, but he's still up. No, yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> but. <laughs> He posted this story about this guy. It's like, he's saying how cool his boy is. His boy's like, go for him during the pandemic. Make sure his old lady was straight. Um, show him a blow when he needed something for his daughter. Bop, bop, bop. But he doesn't like this nigga. Like, he really doesn't like him. Yeah. So he don't want him to die. But he rich bad things happen to him. Like, the nigga's a snake, bro. Now, this nigga with you every day, y'all riding around. He's saying, I'll find the nigga bitches. He gonna fuck the nigga bitch. I got some snake ass, some bitch ass shit, bro. Like, Bad niggas. We need to stop that shit, Dwayne Wayne, dude. Yeah, stop. If you mean fuck with the boys and don't fuck don't with them. Don't fuck bro. with don't them. Fuck with them. Stop faking it, bro. 
But I got, I, I, and it, it's like, they come on with such a good face. But if you don't mean me no good, let me know from jump. So I know how to move with you. Yeah. That's how I feel. Why we ain't get you a mic, boy? Because I thought you should <laughs> should get you a mic. Yeah, but if a nigga ride with you claiming he's your boy, you show on some kind of face at y'all's boys. But Loki, he don't like you? You wish him bad shit happen to you? Yeah. That's what, that's I ain't safe, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We, let's try to keep it together. We all over the place. Let's try to keep it that fucking together. We don't know what we say. Off camera, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna cut you off, but you off camera, dog. <laughs> Let's try it. You know what I mean? You ain't even get a mic, dog. You <laughs> still trying to take over the show, <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, what we got? We got some music. We had some music drop over the holidays. We ain't gonna stay long because I know y'all ain't listen to shit. <laughs> we ain't even do that. I want I want to listen to that kind of album. I really do. I didn't know it dropped for like, I, I mean, of, I, I listened to it in totality, the full album, when it first dropped, like, me, once. Mm. And I skimp over it a few times in the gym. Um, I would give it a six for now, but that could grow. Because I think it's a good album. Uh, I feel so like he... Is this an album or a mixtape? It's an album. Um, let me give people at home the name of the album. Just because we ain't... Um, it's the weekend one? No. Hey, if you would pay attention, you would know the fuck we talking about, though. <laughs> I think it's... You really, happen, I think it's trip it's season four. Happen. Trip season forever. Yeah, trip season, yeah, season, trip season yeah. forever. Trip season forever. Yeah, okay. So this, he had some good features on there. He had Young Tug on there a lot. Obviously. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Kodak. Kodak, I like the song with Kodak. Um, that's the, to me, that's one of my favorite. Yeah, baby on that? The baby, you have little baby on it. Twenty-five k jacket, Gierbo, um, Young Blue, I think, and Chris Brown. I like that's another one I like too. Roddy Rich too. Uh, we can speak a little bit about Roddy Rich later, but <laughs> I, I, I feel with Gierbo a lot. Uh, he shit to me. I I don't I can't like me don't me don't say no rhetoric, but I don't even know what to say about him because I can't tell you how he gets so big. big. And he ain't big in the sense of his music, but he big in the sense of every like he like he, everyone know him. I think it's off social media. It have to be. I like I ain't too sure about his career and his project, like I his think, projected part. I think your boy is better than when your boy is into making music. Baby, baby, little baby, little baby, little baby, and him came out together. I don't even know who that is, bro. You don't know who little baby is? No. Little baby is managed. He was dealing with your boy. Choose world. And now he's managed, or he's dealing with um, Kid Laro. I still don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. No. Just the guy who be running on, but just not music. You don't know who Lil Baby is. You mean, you mean the, the, the Lil Young guy with all the tattoos? No. Bright, bright nigga, curly, clean cut looking, but he white, dead deep. Oh, no. He got a song. Him and Abel, he got a song. Oh, are you proud of me now? No. Right. Anyway, push your P. Push and P. That's that's one of my favorite songs. Yeah, is action with as well. Hmm? You know what I mean? Push and P? Yeah. No. I don't know. I, I, I think it's a slang they probably use. Yeah, that's some that's some um what do you call it? Young dog slang. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but it's a pretty it's a pretty cool album. It's gonna sign um, to talk? His huh? Is he signed to talk? I know the relationship with them, too. I may be ill advised. Don't quote me, but I don't think I don't think he's signed to Dugger. Is he signed to Dugger? You don't know. I know? Yeah. It's to my last knowledge, he was. I, I, think well, I, I don't know. But I know they're they, they, they on that kind of level. Yeah, I would give this album a six. I just sent the email at the same time. So. I, um, I'd give the album a six. Uh, I have to listen to it again. To me, some of the beats were um, subpar. The rapping was good. Um, song arrangement was better than the last album for me. So, Which was the last album? Did he, did he have slime the season? Oh. oh. Yeah. I think the slime season three. That was the last one, right? Yeah, slime season three. Yeah, so you didn't even talk about slime. You didn't even talk. So, 
I gotta give it another listen. Um, the weekend came out, awesome album. I would, I would give that an eight and a half, just off the first listen. Like the weekend. What um, nice. with him and him, well, there was three artists in 2021, and him this year. Silk Sonic with Anderson Park and um, Bruno Mars. Trey Song, not Trey Song, sorry, Tori Lanez. Tori Lanez came up with that, like, that almost like that 70s theme, 80s theme album. And them. And then you got The Weeknd. The Weeknd did the same thing. He was in that niche where he would, like, took it back to the 80s. So it was more like an 80s punk rock sound. And he killed that shit, man. That was, that was amazing. Um, Weeknd features a Drake on that? No, he don't have no I don't think you could see a Drake and Weeknd feature anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can see they that. Had a, they had a yeah, they had a follow. They, their relationship, their relationship wasn't the best. Um, Drake was trying to sign him. Right. Right, but he didn't like the deals um, that was placed before him. So, I don't think that'll happen. But, um, yeah, the weekend album is great. I don't know. I listened to a few more albums. I can't remember them right now. But yeah. Did he, did he face, that was just make a break on his face? Oh. Yeah, that was the theme. That was the theme for the album. Weird shit. I mean, it's hell. That's, 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 niggas don't do rollouts no more. Like, ni- niggas don't really do press runs and all that shit now. So they find innovative social media ways to do the rollout for the album. But that was pretty dope. He carried that for a whole year. <laughs> uh, what else we got to talk about, man? Like, y'all, shit. Y'all ain't got nothing? We're talking about if you're making a baby this year. Yeah, you need to, you need to make one for everyone on this table up there. It's not got yours yet. Well, <laughs> Infinity ain't got nothing. Everyone got Hey, and you just slept through the crack. <laughs> yeah, I end up getting caught up. In yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm blessed. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. slept through the crack, bro. I looked at the club thing. Huh? You know what I <laughs> mean? <laughs> ain't, like, ain't like you out there as you use big skin. Huh? You know what skin? You probably still wearing gun numbers, so. though. I just slept on the side of the gun now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll save nigga. <laughs> See, they talk about you on a big skin out, yo. Yeah? <laughs> oh, I mean, you brother. You used to big skin out. Not me. I have to protect myself. Hey, I don't have no... I don't have no... I don't have no proof for that. I actually... You all get all the proof. I got no proof for that. You proof that um, some of us even were injected the females. I don't uh, use skin. Drake wives. <laughs> <laughs> they, <can't laughs> get the, they get the gun about the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Y'all niggas don't play, boy. But um, yeah. Um, fuck, we ain't got nothing to talk about John ja Morant. <laughs> Shit. Oh, but that nigga's a fucking monster. Like that nigga. I I brought him. Hey. I, I watch him come up, but he's, he's but he nice. Who y'all had? Be honest now. Who y'all had in that draft? Y'all had Zion. Zion being better than him. Career projection. At first, at I first, think not Zion, during the season. I okay. think Zion only get number one. Yep. He's an influencer. Yeah. Yep. So said, that's the only reason he gets that. Yeah. He has better reels mm. leading up to his draft night. That's Ja. Yeah. But I, to me, Ja is like. I didn't expect him. No, I ain't going to go listen, down. No, listen, no, I ain't going to go down. Listen, people like, people listen, trying to compare him to Jordan. Listen, and no, 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 no. Listen, I ain't going to go down. Let me explain this nigga mentality, bro. I ain't going to go down. Like, yeah, like he don't fail. Yeah. If you try to voice everybody, follow him on Twitter. Nigga talk, nigga talk bad, but he said if he had a bad, he'd be like, blame it on me. I was bad. Man. To me, he like right? a young, he like a young Westbrook, but better. No. He more talented. I, fuck that. This nigga, to me, he have Mamba mentality, bro. I wouldn't go that far. Literally, bro. I wouldn't go that I, far. I mean, I can't, I can't. Bro, hey. This nigga drive too serious, dog. You see that? You see this the This nigga block? drive on the court too serious, bro. Like, and his high, he have some of the best high. All his highlights be showing up on Lakers, bro. Yeah, you see the block? You see the block he had a couple know, games ago? That's what I thought. That shit. That's the best two arm block they had from they watch. They, they showed uh, on, on, NBA, on Instagram for NBA 75. All the times they had a two arm block from Michael Jordan doing it. Everyone leading up to John Morant. He had the best one. Jordan only looked the best to me, though. And I, that's no cap because oh, Jordan God. actually catch the ball. Duh. Like Jordan catch the ball. Bro, ja fucking had 
his head up. You see how high we were? Nah, he yeah. This nigga take the ball, bang into the backboard, what shave I, his head, and then flick it, get it on, rebound. What I um what I do commend them on do is he has he has a lot of hind dying, just like Jordan. Well, remember he can even dunk at certain point in high school. Like he started on late. But he has hang time now. Like he's hanging there. He's working hard though. To me. Like I, I follow him on, what, on Instagram, he's working hard. To me, well, anybody look like this work hard on social media. Yeah, probably 21, 22. <laughs> to me. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I ain't living in the moment like that. Let me show you something. When Kobe come in the lead, when Kobe was a rookie, you say he said, and the comparisons to Michael Jordan came in, but him people were probably having the same type of attitude. Kobe was a champion from 22. Yeah, but he's 22. He's 22. He's a champion by 22. Which season he in right now? That's correct. This is third. Second? Third, eh? Third. Third season. Yeah, that's the third season. Hmm? Mm-hmm. 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 It's fourth season. He came in at 18? He came in at 18. No, no, he ain't win at 18. He went at his first no, championship at 21. He came in at 18, what are you saying? Who? Oh, so, Jamarat? Kobe. Kobe. 17. Yeah. So he been in the league for like five, six years before he got his first championship. Until he's in the league. Yeah, he's been in the league for like five, six years before he got his first championship. He went at his first championship. He went at his first championship at 21. So I four years. Four years, I said that. Yeah. Jamarat only in the second or third. We ain't said that. The Grizzlies can get it. But bro, this nigga playing, he deserve one, bro. I don't care, dog. I know you can get it, though. Yeah, I ain't right yeah, right. rolling with that one. You ain't got to roll with it, bro. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. This 2020, I don't give a fuck what you have here. That's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. You ran rookie of the year, um, 2020. You ran rookie all points team, 2020. And the only reason why, only reason why you win that, <laughs> a rookie Zion of the year, injured. injured. It don't matter, even it. No, I'm saying to you, if the hype Zion had behind him, if, Z- if Zion did play the last half of the year, he'd be able to get a design. Yes, yeah. what? Just off the hype. If Zion did not have more the hype he had leading up to his career in the NBA, he wouldn't be Zion Williamson right now, bro. Well, that's, that's He'll a, be a white boy from the NBA. That's, that's a given. That's a white boy forward, bro. And that's what they said. This nigga ain't never had no hype behind him. I, yeah, I agree with you, you know, I, I, like, I disagree with you with that. I feel as though he was better than Zion going into the draft. I feel like he was supposed to be number one. You know, I didn't expect him to be this good, this fast, but he doing it. But to compare him to Kobe and Mike, no. I'd give him rest. Let me show you why I say mama mentality too, bro. Kobe had help on his team when he came in the league. From day one. From day one, this nigga can't attend. Are you fucking selling as a rookie league? No, he ain't by himself now. Can't with this nigga right now. All these um, beans there with the next by them. And them niggas playing out of their mind too. Really? Y'all just watch their games? We just, I just watch John around play, brother. What the nigga name? Who's we boys in the Hey, and the thing is, right, they playing like Golden State. Like, it ain't no unbalanced the scoring, is, you know. The thing is, they balling, right? One they, or, they balling, right? But who's who giving them the assist to get that score? One or two games. He ain't no assist. He ain't no assist John, point guard, man. Johnson, Johnson have an old two. What the next one was like, Bottom line, yes, all them niggas, they a team, they can play, they can score their points, but the person who carrying the Memphis Grizzlies right now. Yeah, that hitting on the table, Chama but that guarantee the bro. thing I'm on. Hands down, bro. That guarantee, that, that you forget, keep forgetting that guarantee the fucking speaker. <laughs> you was a mic man and you know the shit. I just, just making sure y'all know that. He's Chama Ron, he, could, he could be all right, dog. I ain't putting up, up, I ain't putting up, up against no Kobe and Michael Wait, Jordan. I ain't put Fuck them, that. I ain't never say he better than them, but I say... I ain't uh, better, way, he ain't close. The way he playing right, the first thing I said, the way he playing right now reminds me of Kobe when it was fro and number eight. All right, which would have cool. been around the same time of the season that John Moran is in right now where Kobe would have been at the same time. Bro. That's cool. He remind me of Westbrook. Early Westbrook. That's it. He, could, he just could shoot better. <laughs> yeah. He could shoot better. But um, I mean, I rather, I rather you say Derek Rose over Westbrook. No, because well, nobody. All I hope for is nigga don't get injured. He ain't even as good as he ain't even good as D Rose. I can't put him on D Rose level. Let me see Early D Rose, he also. <laughs> let, me, let me see the mix. He also up. disrespectful. <laughs> but why Someone also, mute this nigga fucking mic, please. Why also you disrespectful to the game? But y'all niggas have a niche. Disrespectful to the game. Wait, Josh, wait, Josh, the truth, but I trying to figure out what nickname they can give him, bro. 
Job, bro. No, no, I mean, job. When I say when they, they, they give up, all right. I was not AI. The no, answer. Sitting on the table, they call, they call they call I mean, they they fuck. They didn't want to say it on, on, on camera just yet. They can call him up to God. When he get, watch us. When he get, let's get on this conversation. When he get, when he get to the level of professionalism and, and skill set of Kobe was at, when oh, Kobe was more mature in the league and a veteran at that point. Yeah. When Ja become a veteran, he can have a name similar to something like us. I, I give him a, he have a higher ceiling than any rookie, rate, not even any rookie, any third year player in the league right now. Right. So any young player, Jason Tatum, I give him a higher ceil, ceiling than all of Watch them. Watch this. Jason Tatum and John Moran, who are you going with? I go with him in the long run. Who's him? Ja. Okay. LaMelo Ball, John ja Moran, who are you going with? Boy, that's a tough one. I think Mel, boy, I think Mel could be something special too now. He could be something special, but I ask who you going with right now? I go with Ja or Melo. I go with Josh. Yeah, I go with Josh. But Josh ja against any fucking rookie right now, anyone that up to their third or fourth season right now, I go with Josh. Ja. Yeah, I would, I would, I would say, I would say him over. Um, I'd go with Josh ja over Melo. I go with him over. Like you said, anyone in, the, in the, the last four years. That's what he's saying. He have the highest ceiling of any of the young players right now. But I, I, him. I, only person I see on on par with him in, in their early stages of his career, and he ain't really a rookie. I mean, he ain't really in his fourth year. He like maybe in his fifth or sixth years. Zach Levine. Zach Levine. Yeah. Ben Yes, sir. Don't even do it. We get in this Zach, conversation. Zach's solid now. Nah, don't get me wrong. So Zach's solid. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Zach's solid. I just wouldn't compare him to Jamal Murray. I mean, because of the heights. In terms of in terms of position on the court. Yeah. Uh, you see what I'm saying? So. I like Zach. I like him. Ja. 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 We talking one more time just in case you hear me. Just in case you hear me. The, the gun ready, buddy. Stop right. your shit. Shoot it off, man. Shoot it off. You see him in a, in a dongle? Dongle competition? Who? Ja. See ja. Um, Zach? No, Ja. I mean, if you, you think he's going to compete. He should compete. Yeah, I'd like to see even, him in a dongle competition. Even if it's one, I don't think he might win it. You know I, mean? I want to stay here forever, though. Like, we get out of basketball shit we could maybe talk about. We could maybe talk about how shitty them Lakers is. God damn, they look stinking, Westbrook. I even stopped watching Lakers games, bro. Motherfuck, they look. Hey, Westbrook, get your ass off the team, please. <laughs> please. I ask for a trade. So it's Westbrook. Nobody else. It's Westbrook. It ain't LeBron. Yes, bro. That's ridiculous what they do in LeBron. That's 19 season. But um, I, I go. Never put all the blame on Westbrook. Huh? I give it to the whole team as, as a whole. I think they they were so stuck on trying to build the super team just how the Warriors might have had it, and everything that you put around LeBron fails over a period of time before you see some some type of success towards it. Well, I can tell you one thing: they need to give Tristan Thompson some playing time. Tristan Thompson? That nigga coming up in every fucking thing. Uh, this nigga's <laughs> problem is, boy. Nigga, like Nigga. making babies hey, off the bench, bro. What, what your boy named Joey? Joey Barra say, tell Chloe, you are gallus. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dog. Like, that nigga, he, he, he moving wild as fuck. That's a conversation I wanted to have with you niggas, right? How y'all feel about men who cheat on their main girl and big up the side girl? Yeah. How do feel about Yeah, like, how y'all feel about that situation? How y'all feel about that uh, on the whole, like, as I men? Think, if you in that situation, like, how would you feel? Um, if, if I was in that situation, hold on, my, 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 my girl have a, a child with me? Yeah. That, that yeah, that's, 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 that's a real blow right there. No, but that less is a blow. If she have a child with you, your man girl have a child. Yeah, but that's oh. even worse, bro. No, if it's worse if your man girl do not have a child, your side should get pregnant. I think it's easier if she don't have a child because y'all can actually Fine. sever that relationship with ease. Hey, and, and, and shout out, out, hold on, real quick, real quick. And shout out to the women that um been in relationships where they take their boyfriend back who had a child, an outside child on them. We don't talk about that a lot, but a lot of women is, is, yeah. is cope with that. Like, I don't... call them stepmothers. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we just put too much em emphasis or champion on how women can take more than us because <laughs> as men, we can't take shit like that. Yeah, I just, I just think if if y'all don't have kids together, mm -hmm. and you get someone else pregnant. Yeah, that might have been young and girl, but you already make it clear like y'all 
much in, to the point where you're taking it that serious because now you're cheating on them. Not necessarily. That could be a slip you're up. cheating on them, then you're cheating on them. Raw dog it. Or <laughs> slipping up. Right? Instead of making sure that you protect yourself. But at the end of the day, I think it's easier to walk out of that situation easily than because there is no more connection between uh, mm-hmm. like a, a 18 year old born of a kid would be. You see what I'm saying? So if you have, if y'all, if you're cheating your main girl and you get someone pregnant, just make sure your main girl and you got a kid for you as well. That's, that's what I feel. I mean, that happens so often. And it happens with a lot with married couples too. So for me, yeah. okay. I might get some backlash from this, right? When the girls watch this. I feel like that's a man being a man, bro. Personally, I personally feel as if you value your being girl on a certain level and you do not value your side chick, don't slip up and get her pregnant. But some niggas value their side chick almost as much as they value their girl. That's a problem we need to stop. Yeah, we don't need to bring that in 2022 no. in the Bahamas. That need to stay in 21. Where she needs to be. Yeah, that need to stay in 21. That's what I would tell you. There's no such thing as a side chick to the community. These side girls, they be working so hard to get that squad, bro. <laughs> hey, some of them might deserve that shit, bro. <laughs> Nigga might say, wait, she deserved to have this baby. You never know. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you got a lot of people. We got a lot of relationships that are uh, just, just at face value. But they put on for the public. They put on for people. At home, they go into the most turmoil. How much married couples you think at home right now sleeping in different rooms, bro? That's facts. What you doing that for, bro? If I ain't happy, I ain't Get out of this shit. Maybe take the house, the take the kids, I like, out of this shit. Some people just never really need enough. Like, some people just get married and they really get an all the hype. Exactly. Yeah, they are. Or they're of... expected to get married. They, they are. are. And, and that's one thing, too. It's like, speaking of marriage now, don't ever let someone pressure you to get married. Bro. Yeah, you and this girl have been dating for five, six years. Yeah, I went saying when the wedding. Bro, do it in your time. Do it when you feel like you. I could, I could give you push back and that I could play devil to have a kid, right? You could, say, you could say don't ever let someone do that, but there are people who are in circumstantial, circumstantial relationships, whereas they go with the flow of, like, majority of what's going on in a relationship, and most of the time their circumstances lead them into marriage, which in, it may not be where they want to be with the person. Some people, like... Some people are on the verge of breaking up with their partners, but circumstances and, and, and certain situations they've been placed in within that relationship, it only makes sense for them to get married to the person. How old girls on the verge of breaking up? You mean, in their you mind, mean, you, I mean, you know, where, you know, there are people like, well, majority of people like they physically, they mentally check out a relationship before they physically do it. Right. So people might be in their mind, mentally out of the relationship. But they're not physically out and done with the relationship. And then you turn around and get married. That happens. That's a stupid fucking thing to do if you went out. Hey, you could say that, but it happens. You have some people, they have two kids together. Um, they, let's, let's just say their partner proposed to them. They have two kids together. Their partner proposed to them. Now they're in a situation where their family know they're engaged. Their family know they're about to get married. The da- the da- they found, yeah, they found me and they married your family, See, your family y'all ain't getting married. Hey, you getting married, nigga. Listen to me. Like, like bro, listen, like listen to me. Say, nah, listen to me. Never walk. let no one pressure you, bro. Could y'all please stop, please? Let me talk. Yeah. Please? Yeah, Jesus Christ, let me learn. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of what y'all is do, a lot of what y'all is doing this podcast, you in particular now, y'all is go through. Y'all don't put yourself in other people's situation. I ain't speaking to you, you know. Some people family is important to them. Some people, what their family think is important. Some people live for the outside, uh, th- that outside source. Whereas, like, people, people opinion matters outside of their relationship. People re- opinion matters on the whole to them. So, a lot of things what they'll be doing, or they'll, forced to, they'll be forced to do, is what is based off or predicated upon what people think about them. So, now, if you have a family member, like I was saying, that's willing to pay for this marriage. You done been with this nigga five, six years, seven years. Y'all done have two kids with one another. It ain't that easy to say, hey, no, I won't get married. That happens. I agree with you. I agree with everything you said. There are a lot of people who are here living their that's, lives that's for what people think and what would make other people happy. I'm telling you, 
I can't, if I put myself in their shoes, I'm that kind of person. So I would tell my family, I love you, family, but y'all ain't gonna live this you fucking life. You're putting yourself in their shoes then. You're still coming off you, you, and what you would do. If you're putting yourself in their shoe, you're putting their, yourself in their circumstance. So if I put myself in their circumstance, do I have to have their feelings as well? Or I still have my own feelings because I'm putting myself in their shoes. Never mind. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Know. I put myself in their circumstances, but I'm still, I have your, my feelings, right? If you right? put yourself in their shoe, you would understand better. That's what I'm saying to you. We say this, yeah. if you feel the same feelings and emotions, they have it, you know? Like, these, like, these niggas just make it seem like people could just wake up every day and say, fuck it, fuck the relationship, fuck what I invest, <laughs> fuck all that shit. For everyone dying in the same case, dog. I agree, I, I know this. That's simple. That's simple to understand if you put yourself in other people's shoes. You see what I'm saying? That, that's, that's, that's just what it is. But yeah. Um, and that shows that it's not going to work. Because you're doing it for other people, you ain't doing it for real. Happens, well, that's the reason why a lot of relationships don't work. Yeah. We know that. We know that. I, I can let you all listen to something. The pictures do be nice. <laughs> I can let you all listen to something real quick before we get out here because we need to get out here. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, hopefully it plays. Tell me if it's loud enough too. I'm jealous. I feel like that person has taken me from one you space okay? or level in my life to another, so I'm forever grateful. And I also, in the same note, feel like if I was to ever be in the space that I could repay in any way, shape, or form, that I would. You know what I mean? But um, And the other side of me is like, you can't take it back anyway, so it doesn't matter, because you've already placed me at this space. So it's like, yeah, unless you want me to fake be with you, to keep my shit, then let's just be friends and it didn't work and that's that. But you gotta continue to, you know, your credit is gonna get messed up, I don't know. But he continued paying it. He did continue, he's, yeah. Really, he's still paying it. Yeah, yeah. And you want another dude? Yeah. Come it's been like, I've been with my guy maybe like going on one year and he's been paying my but rent But I would love since. to meet your guy. <laughs> I would really love to meet him because those men are rare. I, I want to get some work. And one man want to stay in that house and another man is paying the bills. Yeah, I got to question him. Because there's no man here that's going to be like. <laughs> I, I, we got this shot. So basically there's this podcast called Eight at the Table. Um, they had this Instagram model on and the conversation was your ex paying your bills. So her story was that she was in a relationship with this guy and they fell out of love with one another. Before they fell out of love with one another, um, he bought her a car. Well, not bought, he leased her a car. The lease was 1500 for the car a month. Um, then some time passed, and he put her in an apartment. After they broke up. No, this is before. This is, all this happened while they was in a relationship. Um, he put her in an in a apartment, 4500 for the rent a month. And then after that, they, they fell out of love with one another, but they remained friends. She is expecting him, and he is still paying the rent and the lease. He is. He's been doing it for a year and a half after they became, they became friends and no longer in a relationship. And they don't have any sexual ties to one another. She has a boyfriend at this point. And he's living in the house with her too. But he's still, the, the guys still continue to pay the rent. To that, you guys react. How y'all feel about that? Huh? Which one? And the shit. First off, another man's living in something that you paid for. And first off, that nigga who living with her, you know, be a nigga. No, but the question was brought to her: Why don't you stop allowing him to pay? See, then that you in a, in a relationship with someone else, why would you stop allowing him to pay? And if he was to like tell you he's gonna stop paying. She, had, she has a problem with that. Like, she was telling him she's not going to move out. She wouldn't give him the car back. Now that he stayed. She feels entitled to him paying for her because she's saying he should at least give her some time instead of bringing her into that life and then taking it away from her suddenly. So a year and a half isn't enough time? Apparently not. Bro, first off, if I, if I meet a female and I try to be in a relationship with her, 
and she explains to me that that ex-boyfriend still pays these things. My question right there and then is, if me and you become serious moving forward, that's going to stop. Right. She says no to me. Clearly, we, we, we're not the, the right person for each other. Well, I didn't let it play on in the video, right? Yeah, Grace is one. If she, if she done me, it ain't going to stop. That's the end of our deal right there. I didn't let it. I didn't let it play on in the video. But her boyfriend, well, she does say she did say that her boyfriend does know, and his whole thing on it is he think the nigga is the simp, a simp as well. So let's suck him and we could re up while he fucking giving us this lie. But that's the American. That's the American way of thinking. Though. Like yeah, being niggas ain't gonna do that shit. Now let me let me give you all let me give you all let me give you all the box story on that. The box story is now they was in a relationship for five years. I don't care how long it's a relationship. They was in a relationship for five years, and um, when she met him, he was going through a down point in his entrepreneurship. So she helped. So she said she helped him. Um, yeah, like he, she, he was making about three hundred thousand a year. She helped him and pushed him up to about making five hundred thousand, maybe or so a year, right? So she's feeling now that this is owed to her. Like she's really entitled to this money because Alert. she helped him Alert. in his career. So she helped him. She helped him boost his income. Right. In what way she able to do that? She couldn't do it for herself and boost her own income. And what my old thing is, and what way? Is, so. No, she admitted. She admitted it. She admitted. She make him a happier man. She admitted that he felt more on another podcast himself. that whatever she was doing to boost his income in his career, it wasn't detrimental to his business. So if she had stopped doing it, it would it would no have no effect on his business. So only thing she probably was doing is helping him on the back end, maybe writing down some some notes or keeping accounts of certain things. You know what I mean? That's that's but that's the that the man of this business shift the numbers wrong. That's why so, she feels like so she's that entitled. Already, that's already no to me that disqualifies doing any type of, of administrative work for the business because you said if, if she stops doing it, it wouldn't affect his business. Right. I mean you ain't add, you ain't adding to it. But yeah, exactly. But I mean, let's I mean, not run away let's not run away from the whole thing. No, but that's why I say it now. In what ways was she helping him that she could help him boost his Revenue, but not help herself. That she wasn't thinking okay, along the line, hold on, obviously. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like she said. Guess what? But hold on. Let me finish. That might be in line now. You so say, "Let me show you where the mind will come into play." As to if I was her new boyfriend, and she was telling me the story, but I would be thinking, "All right, so okay, cool. You have this mind out to build his career, whatever. Yet you still living off him. He's still giving you an allowance. Yada yada, right? Really, really. You tell me, you help him build it." Cool. At the end of the day, my man already have one red flag. Some extra That's a red flag from you still taking his money. Exactly. And you're all in the ghetto. I mean, you, you me, can't, I can't say that's a red me, flag you to me. me. You're telling me he's just a friend and what you're doing for him is not going to be death to manage his business if you stop doing it. So that means you could stop doing it and it wouldn't affect what he got going on. So you could you telling me straight up you could stop today. She did. She did. That's what you want. Well, no, let me tell the story. Let me tell you my third one now before you get to it. This is my last one. Let me so tell you, you the story for us. She me. already stopped. She already stopped doing that. Like they have no ties to one another besides him paying her bills now. Or the bills for a car. Like he, she stopped. He stopped giving up. I mean, she stopped giving him pussy. They just friends. Um, she don't help him out with his businesses no more. Only thing he doing right now is paying her bills, but she still feels entitled because um, put in she that. put in that work. She put in that work. She put in that work, which he claims is work, and now she feels as though he owe her. So she don't want him to suddenly I, take the life I away just, from him. I personally would just feel like you just been boosting his confidence by giving him some good pussy in. That's, that's just how I would feel if you, I was your new boyfriend and you're telling me that this man is still paying the bills and shit. I wouldn't believe everything that you tell me on the face. Should, should she feel entitled, though? No. No. You shouldn't. What the boy doing for? Yeah. You shouldn't. You shouldn't even. You shouldn't. Guess what? If you, doing, if you help him get somewhere the, all of the, the um, genuineness of your heart and you just wanted to help a friend out, then you have no type of entitlement to follow him in that. 
Is that is that a common? Y'all feel as though that's a common theme, though, like women feeling entitled. entitled. No, definitely. definitely. Not not in in their particular um, situation, but I feel like. Yes, ma'am. Yes, bro. No, yes. I don't. I, I have to disagree. You probably you probably haven't come across a, a lot. Or I've heard a lot of stories where women feel entitled, bro. You do. I feel like a lot of women in this generation feel as though you're supposed to come into their life and relieve them of all their problems yes. and issues, especially, especially financially. But what they what they lack to realize is like they try to they try to alternate between a modern woman and and and, and, yeah. and the old fashioned woman in terms of being taken care of and provided for. Yeah. But they don't want to be a wife. Like, like that's that. if you want these benefits in life, why don't sign up to be the man's wife? Then he would take care of you. He would take care of his bills. But oh, so you say this is sugar baby. She don't see herself like that. She calling him the friend. He's a friend now. He and, he, he, you know, sugar. They don't have no sexual relations. He's old enough. I well, I, I don't he's think she honest. disclaimed yeah, that. Just, I mean. <laughs> all I know, all I know is you saying, it's not like you just ready to go. Yeah, you, no, you it, say. It, 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 it's just that the whole situation is sounds so confusing to me that even if I was a boyfriend at that point, I would just say, you know what, I don't need to be a part of this. It's, it, yeah, I wouldn't be a boyfriend. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be yeah, a boyfriend. Like, like, like it's like, talks, but that, like that's why I'm saying that's the difference between our culture and American culture. Like his mindset is, boy, we can eat off this. This is a sucker vibe. Let's 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 come up right now. Don't get me wrong. You got one of those behemoth niggas yeah. who think that way too. Yeah, but like right. I said, I'm the majority. Yeah, like me, everyone, me and everyone in this room. I I sure if we if we approach a woman and that's a situation, we find out that's the case. Oh, that's how she yeah. living. Yeah. We might smash, but he like, ordered. Like, 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 like you say, we might smash. That's it. <laughs> You gotta, yeah, you gotta find, Cause you ain't leaving. You don't want to leave your finance. That's that's. I should stop reading the Bible. Wait, now you know what that means, bro. Let me tell you what that means. That means down the line, if something was to happen, and she had to make a decision, she, gonna she go dropping up. fucking you, bro. All, all day. She going right right back to that check, bro. We just said something earlier. Love ain't better than money. <laughs> know what you say that? Love ain't better than money than these years. Love for this, bro. You can't pay no bills with love. Gotta be crazy. That weekend song name, right? Nah. Like, Nah, oh, that's fast the girl Friday. got a whole money. You're all right. That's why I said, like, why? And my thing was, why you can help someone build their career to make three hundred plus thousand dollars in excess of what they was already making, but you can't help yourself do that. You say, is it? If you listen, if you listen, to her, like, why? you could clearly see if she don't was, have the mindset. If you always dating. Exactly. Let's not speak. And that's, and that's and that's just it. I, 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 you remember when I asked you if that's the same podcast I sent you about? Mm-hmm. Like, cause wait, if, to me it's like. If me knowing that that is the podcast and me looking at her, I already know that like, 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 you ain't the type of person to help no one make 300 fucking K <laughs> fucking numbers. You say it's in and, and freaking, um, 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 I guess. Uh, what I think, what I think it was, Wizzo, what I think. What I, it, personally, what I think she do was build a nigga confidence. Bro. No, what I think it is, is she did do some Bach, some Bach and work with him. Like I say, keeping accounts, writing this down, making sure he may have appointments. But I don't think he pushed her to that financial state as, as no, though but that's, but, but, as but though she said. The bottom line is you said nothing that she is doing is detrimental to his business. That's what but she when said. You say, but when you say keeping accounts, booking meetings and all that, if he miss a meeting, that could be detrimental to your business, bro. So that means she wasn't doing that type of shit to me. No, I said, not, I said nothing. She said nothing that she did. Once it is taken away, it harms his business. Yeah, so that's so, what he's saying. He's so, saying. Yeah. So, so that she means, that's just, like, that's just like you losing a receptionist, you go and get another fucking no, receptionist. No, but a receptionist is still a part of your business. No, that's I, what you I'm get telling you, you, but it ain't detrimental to it. It's not going to stop the flow of your money if you don't have a receptionist. Yeah, it's going to fuck up some appointments for that day or week. Yeah. Which so, could cost you money as well. But what I'm saying. Hey, this 2022, man. We ain't fucking around this year, hey? hey. Y'all niggas keep your head on the swivel. She can sugarcoat all she want for that fucking podcast. Wizzle. No, she doesn't spend with somebody confidence. That's she probably just, I can't leave for you. Um, so he said, like, he might, he might have just watched it. He might have been a pop down dude who was in getting no type of play, but he was making good money in tech or whatever it might be. You say, he and then he get to a point where he's going through depression that he can't find love. She come around happy that this is a man who's desperate for love 
and freaking got some money to spend. So she hang around and be for him, you know what I mean? She don't good, give him a little bit of kitty, you know what I mean? And now I do is like, hey, she, she is his fucking guardian angel, you know? So he will do anything and everything for her, regardless of if, it, it, if it's with him or, or with, with somebody else. You know what I mean? Do it, you deserve it. No. <laughs> uh, right, Bob, I, that's just my, my little five cents on that, bro. But we can wrap up. Hey. Okay, then. Yeah. Like I said, it's 2022, y'all. Keep your head on the swivel. Ladies and gents, please, y'all keep your head on the swivel. Be, sw- be safe out there. Um, yeah, man, we just, we, we got to do shit right this, this year. Um, what y'all got going on? So, like. What do you mean, coming up for the rest yeah, of the yeah, like, weekend, you, y'all, month? Y'all really ain't say, you know what, my, um. I can tell y'all right now. You know what my my New Year's resolution is? The only one resolution I have is I ain't drinking this year. You lying? At all? No, not all right. I put away hard rum then. I would drink wine occasionally, but drinking, smoking, I only used to smoke cigars. Mm -hmm. But I give that up. I give all that up. New Year's resolution. Um, Me? That's about it. Let me see why. Like I say, I mean, I want to make more money this year. Honestly, and truly, that makes some sense with it. Oh, so, that's yeah. the goal, always. I have no resolution. That's the goal. For me, uh, I ain't gonna dance. Mm. Stay, right. oh, stay away from drama. Please stay away from drama. Yeah, please. What would you raise up? Yeah, just trying to be a better person, bro. Yeah. Stay ten toes down and everything I got and every endeavor I have in life. I just try to. You know, raise up my king the way he needs to be raised and support my family the way they need to be supported. Mm. And just keep pushing on all my plans and visions for my life, bro. Like, other than that, I'm gonna still be the same nigga on this marathon. <laughs> Making it rain until I'm dead and gone. I hope COVID goes away. So, so y'all hey. need to get vaccinated, do you? Y'all be safe for the biggest outside of, outside of customs. <laughs> this vaccination is the second biggest scam. <laughs> <laughs> go with that yeah, even go down. <laughs> like, wait, how, how you can tell people get vaccinated, but yet they still got to take an antigen test. They still got to wear a mask. They still got to do all type of different protocols and follow different type of guidelines to protect themselves if the vaccination is supposed to kill them from this. It's supposed to lessen the blow. You know what I mean? Like, you know, certain, some clubs not asking you, some clubs are asking you for COVID tests and or vaccination. God, Fuck them, we ain't going them. Bro, another reason to why it's the biggest con, dude, bro, like, I said it earlier, bro, like, if we leave in the United States to come home, they make us get a COVID test, right? No one is validate this document, bro. They really look at that shit for three seconds, see a negative sign, no type of validation that it was out of, you know, Forge or whatever the case may be, and they let you go through. They don't give a fuck for COVID, bro. Once they know that the test of facility made that little 350 or whatever it is, or that 35 or less, that they're like, happy, bro. Like, like everything else in this day and time is all about the numbers, bro. That's it. Just the numbers. Hey, y'all, just in 2022, be aware of the scams, bro. Y'all be safe, Odell. Keep your head on swivel. Um, you was lot of shot. A lot of robbery is still going on and carrying on from the holiday. Uh, be careful. Uh, be vigilant. Look in your every mirror, please, when you're pulling up home. And yeah, be safe. Till next time. Peace out. May the universe grant us serenity so that we can accept the things that we can't change, the courage to change the things that we can't, and the, wi- and the wisdom to know the difference. <laughs> hey, cut that out, please. Time stop that. Time stop that. I see everything you can remember. That was it. I get it. I get it no, this time. That was enough. No, I need to write it down. <laughs> that was enough. Oh, no. I'm not sure I get that. You get it. Hold on. All right. Let me say it's it again the then. One closing line is something we sure we can get. Mom, but hold on, man. <laughs> I, I sure I get that this time. And we made the universe grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. We out. <laughs>